very, very last minute technical. I don't know why. Well, there's things that we can't control until, until we're live. We're live, yeah. So there's no rehearsal for this. Even though I've written everyone's scripts and I've passed them around and they've learned their lines for the next four hours. There's no rehearsals. Going cold, baby. Hey, my name's Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs. Mary Santora's out. Pound cakes back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. And here we all are, together again. If you'd like to join us on the phone or otherwise, we'd love to have you in uh, whatever capacity you feel comfortable. 216-578-1007, 800-348-1007 is how you call. You can text me, 35192. AlanCoxShow.com is where you're going to find the live stream. On the last day of January today, you know what that makes tomorrow, Pound Cake? Uh, i got to pay rent. <laughs> and also the first day of Black it's History Month. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up. Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't have to pay rent in February. First off, it's Black History Month. Yeah, but you Double get an extra. Ah. But, you, but there's an extra day this year. You should pay more rent. Uh, I should prorate my rent for the days that I'm missing. No, they should add a day's rent. They should prorate. You're lucky they don't prorate for a leap year. What is the black discount? For, there is no black for discount. For making us charge. If you talk to black, black people, Month. they're not really getting a discount. I should get half off. Half off. Because <laughs> I'm half black. Uh -huh. Get it? <laughs> get yeah, it, I, I, I get that. I'm I get black. it. Did you know? Now, will you complain less that you get an extra day in Black History Month this year? I complain every year that, of course, our short, our month is the shortest month out of the year. Right. Even with an extra day, it's still the shortest yeah, month out of the, mm -hmm. out of the year. Yeah, I just find that So funny. your point is still valid. How will you celebrate? Because I know you've taken quite a bit of umbrage, and I think rightfully so. You know, we've talked about Pride Month when all these brands just, j they slap rainbow flags I'm and everything. Start doing these guys like corporations do gays after <laughs> and then after Yeah, July, and then July 1, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Black History Month. After those uh, 28 days are over, traditionally. Uh, I, I, the gays get far more than black people get during, during Black History Month. Let's just be real. <laughs> like... They, they get parades. Well, I'm just asking get, as, as someone who has a, a foothold in both communities, I'm wondering which one is more egregious. If it's the uh, celebrating Black History Month, because it can get really ridiculous on both Pride Month and Black History Month. It can get really ridiculous with the branding and things like that. Um, well, again, I don't, I don't think there's that much branding involved with, with Black History Month. There might be somewhere where they'll say, you know, they'll post a Black Lives Matter thing or they'll Google will change it to... No, Netflix will have the the Tyler Perry collection and, you know, right up there on the I main banner. But all, the, not... all the streaming services will have their collection for Black History Month. And, and a lot of it's actually very useful. Sure, I mean, but that's media-wise. I think the, the documentaries are actually fascinating. Yeah, we, we, that's media-wise what we get. But we don't get parades. Like, there's not a Jamaican Pride Festival or, uh, you know, a Swahili Pride Festival. Or, there's a Puerto Rican yeah. Day Parade. But we... Okay, so where's ours? There's so many countries in Africa that we could celebrate. Uh, you know, what... Suburb of Cleveland has the most, uh, you know, Nigerians or the most, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, with two. Yeah, like we don't. Gonna, you can't have a parade with two people. I don't know. Find out and spearhead that situation. Spearhead that. I'll, I'll work on it. Mm -hmm. But I think this is something you could really uh, ingratiate yourself with a variety of communities. You know, you said that you wished your family was from Zimbabwe. I got cousins in the Congo. I got, right. you know. <laughs> what? Nothing. Cousins in the Congo is one of my, uh, the first uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot songs I ever heard. It was, before, I think that predated Baby Got Back. It was Cousins in the Congo, and then uh, it was on Return of the Bumpasaurus, and then Baby Got Back. Well, look into that. Mm, people from Senegal. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And what are they called? Sinigans. 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 Senegalese, I think, is the word Senegalese. you're looking for. Senegalese. Yeah. 
Chadians? Yeah. Huh? What do you call people from Chad? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you call them. Yeah, Bozemans. I don't know <laughs> what you call them. Sudanese? Uh, Sudan? Sudanese? Sudanese, yes, Sudanese. that's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to live around the corner. Many, many, 30 years ago, plus years ago, I lived around the corner from a uh, Senegalese restaurant. Uh, it was delicious. It was so, so good. And now if I had gone in there and said, um, called them Senegese or whatever, whatever you called them, that probably wouldn't have ingratiated me uh, to them. Alan, let Bill know that True Lies is now streaming on Peacock. There you go. It's True been Lies, on there. Is it, has it? It's been on there, but is it the finally like an actual... HD version, or oh, you it, want it in 4K? Yeah, well, I want like a good version because the one that they had was just like a rip of a laser disc copy, <laughs> and they so put that like, on Peacock, and it was like like Letterbox. Yeah, it wasn't. It was weird. Wow. All right. Well, this person wanted you to know, so I guess they heard us talking about it, and I was watching a commercial this morning for um, a brand new cruise ship that is going out. It's called. The Icon of the Seas, and it's the world's largest cruise ship. Have you seen this? Have you seen any of the coverage yeah, on it? I did see this, though, because we were, uh, my mom, my brother, before my brother's accident and, like, my mom's accident, like, we were going to go on a huge cruise. Um, and so we kind of put that on the back burner. Uh, I've been on a couple of cruises, I think three uh, total. And they were all junkets, and that's fine. I don't ever need to go on another cruise as long as I live. It's fine. There is a direct flight to Montego Bay from Cleveland now, or starting soon, so. Yeah, but they just put out that travel notice. People are going to the Bahamas and Jamaica, be careful, because, you know, eh, well, there's tons of there. crime everywhere, but there they always, always is. Yeah, they always yeah, do that. They're, they're, they're just covering they're, their they're for free there. again. That's all no, no, but I don't know what, in, I don't know what uh, precipitates them putting out a specific notice to people that the Bahamas and Jamaica can be. Pretty sketchy. That's once you step off the resort, I feel like, because they, that's but what even, they But even, there's us. a lot of places you can walk around and you're fine. You just got, it's like any other place, like freaking downtown Cleveland. Just keep your head on a swivel. When we were, just know what's going on around you and you'll be fine. When we were in Mexico, <laughs> I remember, like, we we wanted to walk the beach at night and I was walking and the guy, they have, like, people guarding the resort. He didn't have guns or anything that I saw. It could be a small little pistol or something. It must have been in his pocket. But, like, I remember I walked out and he... Popped his head around so fast. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, we're just going to walk the beach at night. He's like, oh, oh okay. He said, J- j- just be careful. I'm like, yeah, I know. There's probably like a bunch of crabs and stuff on there, huh? And he's yeah, like, Yeah, that's what yeah, he was crabs. worried about was crabs. That's why he's got well, a gun. We were on an, I didn't see a gun. I didn't know if he had a gun. But we were, <laughs> it, it, it was weird because we were on an island. Like, Isla Mujeres is not like, you know, Cancun at night. Like, you have to physically get a ferry and go to the island. Like, so anybody, any criminals that are on the island, there's either stuff on the island or there ain't none on there. So I was like, it's cool. Like, it takes a lot to get kidnap somebody, take them on a boat, and go all the way across, you know. And you weren't walking the beach at night? You weren't worried that you were going to get hit by a semi-truck? There weren't any. There weren't that many cars on the island. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I was watching a little blurb this morning on the Icon of the Seas, which is the world's largest cruise ship. It's got the world's largest swimming. It's the largest at-sea swimming pool they have the ultimate family townhouse, which is $100,000 a week. What? And they have set out on their first voyage. And I am um, uh, I'm very stupid in a lot of ways. And one of those ways is nautical engineering. This might surprise you to know. I'm not well-versed in nautical engineering. And I was watching this thing. I'm like, how do they not capsize? These because the cruise ships get taller and taller mm-hmm. and taller and wider. It costs them too. Well, the wider I understand, the wider it gets, yeah, the, the less likely gets, it's yeah. going to tip. The taller they, it gets, so you need to go wider. Yes, but they don't look much wider. I'm sure they are. I'm sure the people who put these together, you know, uh, know what they're doing. But um, it sails out of Miami. Its maiden voyage was a couple of nights ago. A sold out. A sold out. Seven night Caribbean cruise. It costs two billion dollars. It's twelve hundred feet long. It's two hundred fifty thousand tons. But what I understand is if someone could seventy six hundred guests, twenty three hundred crew members, seven swimming pools, twenty decks, a water park, an infinity pool, an ice arena, um, an onboard dog. <laughs> you know what I always want to do when I'm in the Bahamas on a cruise? <laughs> I'll go ice skating. Hockey. An onboard dog named Rover. They call him the chief dog officer. 
uh, more than 40 restaurants, bars, and lounges. And I'm just looking at the thing, and people are excited, and it's just packed to the gills with people. And I'm like, how does it not tip over? When it gets that tall, and it, how does it not? What I'm curious about is... It how, would terrify me to how, be on that boat. How do they keep it... it fully stock like how if you're rich enough to afford a hundred thousand dollar a week suite why would you not get a private yacht of your own you know you don't have to sell with a bunch of plebes like i don't want to be on the boat with well, because a private yacht is not going to have all that stuff i just rattled off but i mean they're making it so you never have to spend one iota with your thoughts like hey this is what you pay for whether you're with your family or not you know my wife when she was young gwen used to go her dad was like a big financial guy, and so his company used to take all the employees on annual cruises. And so she and her brother, when they were little, would go. And she would tell me these stories about, like, my dad would go to the casino, my mom would be hanging out with, you know, the other wives or whatever, and my brother and I wouldn't see them till dinner. We'd just be running around the boat and doing kid stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't think I would ever. I mean, there's, not, there's nowhere to go, but it, it just, you know, your kids are gone all day long because the parents are like, go do something in another part of the boat so we can drink or whatever. Obviously, that was the furthest thing from my experience growing up, but it's interesting. But these giant, giant boats, because it's not like they're gonna, not going to try to make one bigger. And it's Royal Caribbean is the is I once we're all just going to live, like, the, this is how it happens. But we all like live we, at sea? Well, well no, we, it starts with us living at sea, and then we then it's Wally. We're all living on space stations that are just giant uh cruises do you want basically. to be the first? Yeah, i don't remember the premise of wally i just remember the, the robot. earth was done okay it was, it was not inhabitable by humans anymore everybody was big and fat I remember yeah they're big and yeah. fat and they like lived a very comfortable life on a basically a space cruise i see haven't we seen this movie before though like everyone's excited to go on the biggest newest ship that that ever did sail the seas. Yeah, but we've done it a, a, so many times since the Titanic. Mm, I don't very the, successful. I don't want to be the first to go on anything. I don't care if it's a new plane, new car, new boat. I'm good with being second or third when it comes to this. I'm good with sloppy seconds. I you uh, guys can go mm -hmm. enjoy. I'm gonna break here. I'll have another one thousand dollars for you uh, on the way at two thirty. It's a keyword that could get you a grand courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. <laughs> The Allen Talk Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite smart device. Just tell it to play The Allen Cox Show on iHeartRadio. Every September, the biggest superstars from 